Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Today I'm going to show you my favourite tool on the whole of the GIMP. It's probably the thing I use it the most for um, on a day-to-day -day basic, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's very, very basic to use, um, and it's a very, very powerful tool. And that tool is curves. Now, what I'm going to be using it for today is to change the contrast of this particular image that you're looking at now. The image itself isn't um, a bad image but for my liking it's a little bit too grey and a little bit too flat and it's not nearly as vivid as I really remember it or as I'd want it to appear so what I'm hopefully going to try and achieve is to take this grey flat image and make it a little bit more vivid by bringing out some of the colours and in increasing the contrast so this is the final effect that we're going to go for um, and as you can see here the oranges and yellows and reds and blues have all become much more vivid whereas the the dark greys and the kind of dark waters as well have become much more deeper so the overall contrast of the image is increased so the way we're going to do that as I've said um, at the beginning is by using our curves tool now the first thing I'm going to do is just delete this background copy now one thing I would suggest when you're using the curves tool or any tool for that matter that messes around with the master image too much I would always recommend that you do make up a backup copy of the layer that you're working on of the image that way if you do make any dreadful mistakes you can come back to the original and you haven't really altered the, the master copy you've altered a copy that doesn't matter if it's damaged so the easy way to do that go to your layers paths and channels doc and very simply just click on this little icon here that says create a duplicate of the layer and very simply there we'll get a background copy now we click on the background copy to show that that's the one we're going to work on and then we need to open up our curves tool now the way to do that you can right click on the image and scroll down to colors and then to curves and you'll see this little box jump up now this might look quite technical but it's really very simple this straight line um, represents the value of the grey pixels or the value of any pixels this pixel right down here is the black point and this is indicated by the two black pieces here uh, black colours on the bars and up here we've got our white point so this is the whitest pixel value on the image and this is the blackest the darkest pixel value on the whole image and everywhere in between is going to be one of these shades of grey and what happens is when we pull this line or we manipulate the uh, value of those lines the background image itself will change and that might sound quite complicated but really it's very simple and the best thing to do with curves is just open it up with a background image and just play around with it for yourself to see what the actual effect is now what you should also have is this preview button here checked because what will happen is as you begin to manipulate this line the image will change in real time and you'll be able to see the effect that you're having um, if you go too far and you make a horrible dreadful mistake and you ruin your image at any point you can just press reset and it'll go back to normal now what we want to do is a very simple um, maneuver with our curves tool we're just going to create something called an S curve a very basic S curve and what this S curve will do is make the black tones blacker and the white tones or the light grey tones lighter so obviously that will increase the contrast range in our image and to do that we just very simply pull down on our line at one point and we're just going to drag this up a little bit as well and you can see that the reason it gets its name the S curve we have a very basic kind of S and you can see the difference I've already made there it has become much more vivid and the basic change has been made that I was going for but this isn't quite perfect so what I'm going to do is just play with these values ever so slightly until I get something a bit more like that and that's actually pretty much what I'm looking for if I ever want to check the difference I can just uncheck the preview and we get our original image back and that's the difference we made and that's really um, the kind of effect I was going for so I'm just going to press OK and that's the job done it's as simple as that um, there is another thing we can do with the curves tool um, we can use it to remove
colour casts from an image, um, but I'm going to talk about that in a later tutorial for improving night shots. I hope you find the tutorial very useful. Um, I certainly think you are going to find the curves tool useful because, as I say, it's the one I use the most often just for editing my own digital photographs, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful.